hello guys and welcome back to this channel in today's video we are going to start a new topic linear programming in this video we are going to focus more on linear inequalities in two variables so if you are new here consider subscribing to this channel do well to like this video and share this video to your friends so now when we talk about linear we want to talk about straight lines and then when we talk about inequalities we want to talk about greater than greater than or equal to less than or less than or equal to now linear inequality in two variables x and y is of the form ax plus by is less than c ax plus by is less than or equal to c ax plus by is greater than c ax plus by is greater or equal to c where a b and c are constants a solution to a linear inequality is the pair of numbers x and y that satisfy the inequality now the rules for finding the solution set of a linear inequality are the same as those for finding the solution to a linear function. So let's consider the inequality y is less than 12. We want to find the solution set for this inequality. Now from inspection, if y is equal to 1, y is equal to 2, or y is equal to 3, then it means that these values of y satisfy the linear inequality. However, these are not the only solutions. There are infinitely many solutions. Now, since we cannot write down all the possible set of solutions to a linear inequality, a good way to describe the set of solutions is by graph. So we are going to represent this linear inequality on a graph to find the set of all possible solutions for this linear inequality. So we have the y-axis and also the x-axis. We have negative x, negative y. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8, 3, 6, 9, 12, negative 3, negative 6 negative 9 and then negative 12 now this is the origin point zero zero so since we have the linear inequality as y is less than 12 we are going to draw the line y is equal to 12 on the graph so let's locate 12 on the y-axis so we have 12 here and then we are going to draw a straight line horizontally So we have this line through the point. Next, we want to investigate the region where our solution lies. So in doing so, we need to pick a point on the y-axis, either below the line or above the line, in order to validate the region where our solution lies. Now let's pick y equals 13. Now 13 is lesser than 12 is a wrong statement. This is a wrong statement because it's not true or a value below the line. So we can pick y equals 9, y equals 6, y equals 3. And you realize that all these values of y are less than 12. So we can say that 6 is less than 12, 9 is less than 12, and these are all true statements. So it follows that the solution set for this inequality is the region below the line. So we are going to shade this region.
Now, one important thing you need to take notice of is the inequality sign. Now, if you have the inequality sign to be less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, then it means that the line we are talking about this line is included in the region that satisfy the linear inequality. However, if you have less than or greater than, then it means that the line is not included in the region that satisfy the linear inequality. So for this inequality, for this linear inequality, we had less than. Because this inequality is not less than or equal to, we need to represent this line by dotted lines. So if you have less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, you are going to represent that with a straight line. However, if you have less than or greater than, then we are going to represent that with dotted lines. So for this example, we dealt with linear inequality of only one variable. Now in the next example, we are going to deal with linear inequality of two variables. So in the first example, we had only one variable. In this example, we have two variables in the linear inequality. Now we are going to solve the linear inequality 2x minus 3y minus 6 is less than or equal to 0. Now to solve this question, the first step is we need to find both the x and y intercepts. Now the x and y intercepts are the points on the x and the y axis respectively where the line crosses or passes through. So first of all, let's find the x intercept. So to find the x intercept, it means that you need to put the value of y in the linear inequality to 0. So wherever you see y, we are going to replace that with 0. So from this linear inequality, we have 2x minus 3 times 0 minus 6 is less than or equal to 0. Now this goes to 0, so we have 2x and then we transpose negative 6 to the right hand side. It's less than or equal to 6. We divide through by 2 and then we have x to be less than or equal to 3. So we have the point 3, 0. Now let's find the y-intercept. So x also goes to 0. So we have 2 times 0 minus 3 times y minus 6 is less than or equal to 0. Now 2 times 0 is 0. So we have negative 3y is less than or equal to 6. We divide through by negative 3 and then we have y to be we have y as less than or equal to negative 2. So we have the point 0, negative 2. Now the next thing is we are going to plot these two points on the graph. So we have the y and x axis. negative x, negative y. We have the origin point 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. We have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and then negative 4. So let's plot these points on the graph. So let's start off with 3, 0. So we locate 3 on the x-axis and then 0 on the y-axis. So 3, 0 is this point. So this is the point 3, 0. 
and then the next one 0 negative 2 so we have 0 on the x-axis negative 2 on the y-axis so this is the point 0 negative 2 now let's draw a straight line passing through the two points so we have a straight line passing through the two points okay now the second step is to investigate the region where our solution lies so in doing so we are going to choose or pick a point either below or above the line to see where our solution lies so let's start off with a point below the line so let's pick the point 2 negative 2 so this is the point 2 negative 2 2 on the x-axis negative 2 on the y-axis so after choosing the point 2 negative 2 we are going to substitute 2 negative 2 into this linear inequality to see whether it satisfies the linear inequality so we have 2 times 2 minus 3 times negative 2 minus 6 is less than or equal to 0 2 times 2 is 4 negative 3 times negative 2 is plus 6 and then minus 6 is less than or equal to 0 6 cancels out negative 6 and then we have 4 is less than or equal to 0 now this is not true this is a false statement so it means that the solution set for this inequality cannot be the region below the line so let's investigate for the region above the line now let's pick a point zero zero the point at the origin so we are going to substitute zero zero into this inequality so we have two times zero minus three times zero minus six is less than or equal to zero now two times zero is zero negative three times zero is also zero and then we have negative 6 so negative 6 is less than or equal to 0 this is a true statement and then it satisfies the linear inequality so it means that the solution set for this linear inequality is above the line so we can shade this portion And because the linear inequality is less than or equal to, it means that the line is included in the region that satisfies the linear inequality. So this is how to solve the linear inequality involving two variables. Now let's solve another example. So in the third example, we are going to solve the linear inequality 3x minus 4y minus 12 is less than or equal to 0. So like we did in the previous example, first of all, we are going to find both the x and y intercepts. So let's find the x intercept. So we are going to put y equals 0. So we have 3 times x minus 4 times 0 minus 12 is less than or equal to 0. This goes to 0. We have 3x. It's less than or equal to 12 and then we divide through by 3 and then we have x is less than or equal to 4 so we have the point 4 0 now for the y intercept we have x equals 0 so we have 3 times 0 minus 4 times y minus 12 is less than or equal to 0 negative 4y is less than or equal to 12 we divide through by negative 4 and then we have y to be less than or equal to negative 3 and so we have the point 0 negative 3 next let's plot these two points on the graph and let's investigate where our solution lies the region where our solution lies So we have the y and x axis
Okay. Now let's plot these two points on the line. So we have 4, 0. We locate 4 on the x-axis and then 0 on the y-axis. So this is 4, 0. And then we locate 0 on the x-axis and then negative 3 on the y-axis. So negative 3, we move here. So this is 0, negative 3. So we are going to draw our straight line through the two points. Next, let's pick a point below or above the line in order to check where our solution lies. So let's pick a point above the line. So we can pick the point 1, negative 1. So this is 1, negative 1. Now let's substitute 1 and negative 1 into this linear inequality in place of x and y. So we have 3 times 1 minus 4 times negative 1 minus 12 is less than or equal to 0. 3 times 1 is 3. Negative 4 times negative 1 is plus 4. We have minus 12 is less than or equal to 0. 3 plus 4 is 7 and then 7 minus 12 is negative 5 so negative 5 is less than or equal to 0 now this is a true statement and so it satisfies the linear inequality in that case we are going to shade the region above the line So it means that the solution set for this inequality is the region above the line. So you can as well validate this case by picking a point below the line. So let's just pick a point 3, negative 4. So this is 3 and then this is negative 4. So we can pick a point 3, negative 4 below the line. So let's substitute these values into this linear inequality. So we have 3 times 3 minus 4 times negative 4 minus 12 is less than or equal to 0. 3 times 3 is 9. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. And then we have negative 12 is less than or equal to 0. 9 plus 16 is 25 minus 12 is 13. So you realize that 13 is lesser or equal to 0 is a wrong statement. It's a false statement. So the region below the line cannot be the region which contains our solution set so it confirms the fact that the solution set for this linear inequality is the region above the line and because we have the inequality sign to be less than or equal to it means that the line is included in the region that satisfies this linear inequality i hope you enjoyed today's lesson please do well to subscribe to this channel like the video and share this video to your friends. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye bye.